there's like a lot of mixed emotions when it comes to being a parent typically a young parent so in this video i'm just going to be generally talking about that <music> hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here welcome to the family please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on your notification bells um to get notified every single time when i post a video so i have already mentioned what i'm going to be talking about and i just have this small nana diary next to me which just helps to remind me every single thing that i want to talk about in my youtube videos so i'm just gonna like sneak peeking into it just to like remember every single thing so yeah i actually have a class today within an hour so i still have some time to like do those videos so that's my perfect okay just to get on top of it the main part of it i want to firstly talk about the good part of being a young mom um the bad part of it and also my regrets so i just want to talk about that in this video so let's just get on top of it for those of you who do not know me i'm a mom to a six months old so i just do have a bit of experience on how it's like to be a young mom so the first thing that i picked out is that it changes how you see things in life so i feel like in life you just get to be aware of things you start to rethink your decisions about things more especially the finances and then when you have a baby i feel like it just takes away your problems because sometimes you're in life you might feel like oh my gosh this is the end of life i'm just tired of everything i just want to die but I mean i personally when i look at my son's pictures i'm just like oh my gosh i just want to leave i want to give this baby the best life ever i want to take care of my baby like i just want to be there as he grows up and i don't see any more reasons as to why what i want to take away in my own life and babies also brings joy into the family you know guys i i understand why a lot of married couples you know try so hard to have babies and they and they go to the point where they try to have a surrogate and all of that because i feel like the babies just makes a house even warmer yeah, but it makes a house a home you just feel like oh my gosh i have a family i have people to take care of and i feel like they just makes you they just give you more reasons why you'd want to be at home and also you just don't ever get bored when you have a child honestly they give you the best company in life you know you get to sing with them you get to play with them it's just like really amazing to have a kid um in the right time <laughs> you just have this little person who's gonna inherit your genes and also inherit everything that you have worked hard for these babies are just gonna like inherit everything that i work hard for my finances so i know that if i die at least i leave my things to my kids and i'm just like that's just an exceptional idea and then i want to get to the bad part the bad part the bad bad part Mm, it's gonna make you regret having a kid and the first thing is it is so emotionally taxing okay trying to adjust on being a mom being a father is just a major life change because you have to be financially like you have to be financially responsible you have to like uh, take care of that kid it's so hard to take care of a newborn because sometimes babies are even like crying for no reasons and you have and you have to like shut them up feed change diapers first few months are hell because you don't rest unless you have some good support structure it's gonna put you on postpartum depression and that's what a lot of women and men do get after having kids so seek for support if you are feeling like you're going through that and also um more financial responsibilities i've mentioned the responsibilities part but finances oh gosh it is crazy i'm a young mom 
i'm not working i'm just a student and i also have like some side hustles which are paying me good but like oh my gosh i don't want to do this for life and also i want to have more money so it's like you want the best things for your child but you can't really buy all those best things and also if you while i'm still on that point as you are trying to buy everything for your child as a young parent you don't really have any assets in life you don't have a house you don't have a car so it's like you're living in your parents house and now you have to like adjust um whatever space that you guys have to accommodate your child so sometimes you might live in a like a small house and it's very hard for you to put um your baby's bed cupboards um strollers baby chairs and all of that like yo it's very hard because you don't even have that space that you need to to actually make the baby more comfortable so sometimes you just like you really want to provide that but you're just like oh gosh it's the timing it's literally currently impossible for now when you have a baby it's very hard guys to adjust into everything it is incredibly hard when it comes to studying when it comes to even working i really do understand why there's such thing as maternity leave and paternity leave because you need time to actually be with the baby and also do your stuff on the other side which is very hard everything is hard I've been saying hard this whole time. But when it comes to relationships, people tend to break up the most after having a child. Like, I don't really understand what's the most cause of it. It could be maybe not understanding each other when it comes to these things of postpartum depression and whatsoever. And also your social life does change drastically. You don't go out as much as you used to. You, you barely bond with the outside people your friends you get to be in indoors the most so your life is more indoors than outdoors so that can actually make you feel like oh god i don't have a social life getting to what i regret the most so first things first the only thing so the only thing that i mainly regret regret is the timing I feel like if I could have went through this maybe in a couple of years more, it could have been really better because maybe by that time, you know, I'd have my own place, I'd have my own car. I don't really have to rely on anyone with finances. Um, yeah, although I do have like some crazy amount of support, which I'm like really grateful for, but I don't really like to fully rely on someone. And I feel like maybe you guys do understand what I'm trying to say. I hope you do and i don't regret who i have my kid with he's an amazing father to my child i hope you got like a sneak peek of how i've been dealing and how i've been feeling as a mom thank you so much for watching this video your your support is incredibly amazing to me and shout out to you guys i mean my channel has been growing so well it really means a lot to have you guys watching my videos um yeah so thank you so much for <laughs> i keep saying thank you thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like subscribe you know turn on the notification bell next to the subscribe button and also um um, um what am i missing and also comment yeah mm, yeah okay bye thank you so much for watching bye